put the review in the bag. Put it in. Um, you're facing the wrong way, sir. Uh, all right, give me the review, sir. Did you honestly think you were gonna get away with blatant plagiarism on the internet? Oh. Next. What's up guys, my name is Redbeard and today we'll be talking about the recent controversy regarding IGN and a smaller YouTuber by the name of Boomstick. So I'll just summarize the situation pretty briefly for you because I'm sure you kind of know what's going on at this point. But uh, Boomstick made a video and he made it quite a long time ago actually, he made it last month uh, doing a review of the new Nintendo Switch game called Dead Cells, which uh, has a lot of people excited actually. It it looks uh, really good. And uh, anyway, so fast forward about a week, and a review uh, was published by IGN on this game Dead Cells, and the smaller YouTuber Boomstick noticed that uh, some of the phrases that are used in the IGN review are just about, or are, uh, direct replicas taken from his own review. Now, <laughs> the chances of uh, a reviewer like that, I think, saying the exact same things as a smaller YouTuber in kind of like the same-ish locations in the IGN video, you know, there's just about no question that uh, it's plagiarism. Uh, it would be very, very unlikely that uh, you know this didn't occur. And I mean, the IGN review was posted after Boomsticks, so you know the time is there. So <laughs> there's no alibi for this. Uh, the IGN writer who made this video. Now, what's super interesting is that I think this is the the IGN writer's first video review that he has edited himself. I think he's done a... Oh, I don't know. I couldn't say. I don't know if he's done any more like before this, but this is his first review that he's edited by himself, which is <laughs> kind of ironic. You know, the first review that you edit for yourself, you're taking information from some other person and using it in your own review that's kind of a scumbag thing to do so what happened was boomstick made a video and i'll show you guys just a brief clip of boomstick's uh comparisons and you can pretty much plainly see is that this ign editor did in fact uh plagiarize his work nope. Dead cells only falter slightly with some repetition setting in, especially on the early areas and during longer play sessions. Dead cells does falter slightly with some repetition, but it's only felt in its earlier areas and during extended play sessions. Dead, Dead cells, cells only does falter, falter slightly, slightly with some repetition, repetition but it's in, only felt in its the earlier areas, areas and during, and during play extended sessions. play sessions. So this is Forbes interviewing Boomstick, and uh, basically what they're saying here is that uh, Boomstick does not want this, uh, fuck, what is his name? Philip Guy fired. Boomstick does not want Philip fired. And I think that's pretty admirable of Boomstick. If I was in his situation, I think I'd kind of want that too. You know, this is Philip's first offense. And he should definitely know better because he's in the fucking journalist industry. So he should definitely know better. But if this is his first offense, and if this is the first time that he's being caught doing something like this, if they go through Philip's history and find out that, you know, he's plagiarized more than just this guy, um, I don't know. Maybe it should be time to let him go. But uh, I'll just read what Forbes has uh, Michael say here. At this time, I have not been contacted by IGN, but I would like to be cited, collaborated with, and compensated for the healthy ad revenue they pulled in on both their written review and video review. As for the author, Philip, this was his first video review for IGN, and it is slightly understandable to seek knowledge from someone who has done multiple reviews before, but it should not be replicated in this manner. 
I foster no ill will towards Philip and do not encourage firing of this gentleman because I have been unemployed, business closure for six months now, and I would not want this burden on anyone. I have been doing YouTube since 2006 as a hobby, and I was somewhat of a following in 2018. A few years ago, I started a Patreon that attempts to help me continue what I enjoy doing by accepting donations from fans on my videos, but I've seen to no, or little to no success. See, I think Boomstick is kind of shortchanging himself here. Uh, I think uh, his reviews are really good, and I've actually subscribed to him, and I kind of look forward to see what he posts in the future now. And I think uh, this IGN situation has definitely uh, elevated him into the spotlight. So if they do uh, end up collaborating with him and everything, uh, it'll be really good for his channel. But already his video on this whole situation has more views, like astronomically higher views than both of the original views for uh, the Dead Cell game. So he's getting a ton of exposure just from this situation, but I don't think he wants to be known as the guy who uh, got plagiarized by IGN. Now, I don't want to be putting words into his mouth here, but if I was him, I wouldn't want to be known like that. I would want to be known as the guy who does game reviews and does them well and, you know, does all this other gaming content. That's what I would want to be known for. So I'm sure he kind of wants to put this past him a little bit, but I don't think he's uh, going to be suffering <laughs> as far as watch time goes, especially on uh, his uh, recent plagiarism video uh, that's doing really well i don't know if he monetized it or not if i was him i would monetize that bitch but anyway yeah good on him good on boomstick good on boomstick for uh being the bigger man in this situation and you know not just like screaming his fucking head off and calling for this guy to be fired and trying to ruin this guy's career you know he doesn't want that he just wants uh, he just wants fair reviews, and uh, he even wants to collab with IGN, so he wants to cooperate with them and uh, work with them. So I respect that. So what else is interesting about this is that uh, this guy, this IGN editor, uh, this is not, like, this isn't his first rodeo, man. Like, of course, this is, like, his first review that he's editing himself, but he's actually hired. He's on the, he's, like, staff. Like, oh, Forbes was talking about this. I'll just uh, read you the clip from their article. As Forbes here has uh, IGN saying, As a group of writers and creators who value our own work and that of others in our field and editorial staff at IGN, uh, or the editorial staff at IGN takes plagiarism very seriously, which is interesting because this Philip guy isn't he part of your editorial staff IGN because he's the editor for the Nintendo stuff. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the editorial staff at IGN takes plagiarism very seriously in light of concerns that have been raised about our Dead Cells review. Have I been calling it Dead Cell this entire time? Sorry, guys. We've removed it for the time being and are investigating. So what are my thoughts on this situation? Well, I gotta give a hand to Boomstick because he handled the situation very well, very logically. Uh, he was very cool-headed throughout the whole thing. He stuck to the facts, you know, instead of having a tantrum and yelling at IGN, uh, he was like, okay, guys, uh, here's the facts. Here's what I think has been plagiarized. Uh, here's the evidence for it. And I have to say the evidence was very compelling. And then he's like, so what should I do now? And uh, I think that was probably just about the best way he could go about it. He wasn't necessarily trying to get the internet. You know, it wasn't a call to arms really. But, you know, the internet and the YouTube community are definitely willing to lend a hand when there's an injustice like this. So, uh, yeah, I think Boomstick handled it really well. And uh, ultimately, he's the he's the one that's going to benefit from this whole situation. Uh, before, 
you know, if no one ever found out that Boomstick had been plagiarized, then this IGN video would have just been making money off of pretty much his ideas. But now that they've been called out, uh, I think Boomstick will, you know, get some popularity from this situation. And hopefully that'll continue forward into some of his future reviews and his other gaming videos and he'll do well. I hope this IGN reviewer learns his lesson. Uh, I don't think he should be fired, but he definitely should be penalized and they should put him, they should watch him a little more closely, especially since he's such a big deal. He's covering, like he's the editor for the Nintendo stuff, right? So isn't he covering pretty much all of the Nintendo uh, games and information? Like that's a pretty big job to give to a guy who does something as irresponsible as this. So I think maybe uh, IGN should give him, demote him uh, in a way, give him kind of a lesser duty to see if he can prove himself worthy of handling, uh, a, you know, a, a larger journalist job without plagiarizing people. And if he can prove himself, then I think he should go back into the position. I really don't think he should be fired from IGN because, uh, you know, uh, and uh, Boomstick doesn't want that either. But ultimately, it's up to IGN. People have been fired for lesser things for lesser reasons. And you know, if this was like at a university or at a college and you plagiarize something that you handed in, uh, they basically just kick you right out of the university or college and say, fuck you. And they probably they usually don't give you a refund either. So, uh,. <laughs> You know, it's a serious thing in the academic community, and I think it's a serious thing in the journalistic community, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Hey, so welcome to the end of the video. Thank you for making it this far. I just gotta say, I love how I don't upload for like two weeks, and you guys give me like 15 more subscribers. Uh, I don't know if I should be taking a hint from that. Maybe you guys are like, uh, hey, yeah, sh we should subscribe to Redbeard so he doesn't upload anymore. So he doesn't say stupid shit all the time. Yeah. So I know a lot of you guys are coming from my Outlast video. I know a lot of you guys are here for the calling stuff. And uh, if you want me to cover uh, anything, uh, just, you know, just tell me and I'll talk about it. I don't want to really alienate you guys. Um, I never expected that I'd get an audience. I honestly felt a little more comfortable like knowing that I was pretty much talking to myself on YouTube and now that I know people are listening I'm a little bit afraid to make videos uh, but you know you guys have been awesome with your support of a lot of my videos so far and I really appreciate you I know it's a cliche thing to say but I really do appreciate you guys and uh, I like having discussions with you about video games and uh, you know just stuff we're interested in so if you have any video topics or ideas you know you'd like me to talk about feel free to tell me about it in the comments down below with that being said uh, thank you everybody for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful day see ya